marketing funnel awareness. What does that even mean? Marketing funnel awareness. Guys, Kim Barrett here today, and what I wanna to talk to you about is marketing funnel awareness and really dive into what it actually means when it is to say that there's awareness in a marketing funnel. Now obviously there's two really key components here. One is marketing funnels and the other is awareness. Now obviously I'm not just talking about people knowing about what it is that you're doing, people knowing about what your funnel is. What I'm talking about is understanding the scale of awareness. Now, what I want you to start to think about is within your business, there's going to be a range of different awareness levels that people come in at. And really today, there's five core areas, and this has been popularized by Gene Schwartz, who wrote the book Breakthrough Advertising, um, and then taken by Russell Brunson and many other people and adapted. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the different levels of awareness when it comes to your marketing funnel and how each level is a different conversation. So let's think about this from the beginning, and we're looking at the five levels, and then I'll go more into each one. So number one, we have people that are unaware, then we have people that are problem aware, solution aware, product aware, and most aware. Now, I'll talk about the two extremities to start off with. People that are unaware, they're just going through life and they have no idea that they have a problem and they're not looking for anything to solve anything. They're the, one of the hardest people to market to because that's just like walking down the street, yelling out over the balcony here and saying, hey, do you want to buy a marketing funnel from me? Hey, do you want to buy a supplement from me? Hey, do you want to buy some uh, health and fitness training from me? not gonna work, right? Does not work very well. So they are completely unaware that they have a problem. On the other end of the spectrum, we have those that are most aware. Now, what does most aware mean to us? Most aware is those people where they just go, hey, I wanna work with you because you are the expert, you're a gun, you're a person who I really look up to and I know that you get killer results. They're people that come to you by referral. They're people that come to you as a byproduct of a connection so they're not really people that you can market to that easily, right? They just come to you because they know how good you are because you've been providing value to the marketplace. So they're people that, again, you don't want to choose. You want to look at the three middle tiers, which is product aware, problem aware, solution aware. So I'll explain each of them and then I'm going to dive deeper into each one. So when you look at product aware, they are, a, uh, sorry, problem aware. They are aware that they have a problem but they're not sure just yet what the solution is to that. And like I said, I'll dive deeper into each one as we go through. So they're aware that they have a problem, but they have no idea what the solution is. Next, we have solution aware, where they're aware of what the solutions are and they're weighing them all up. They're like, hmm, do I want this solution? Do I want that solution? Then lastly, we have product aware, where they're aware of the product, the solution that they want. That's a lot of the time where you find people are talking about price comparisons and things like that, and they really start to dive deep into that area. So that's one where you don't want to play as much. Obviously, we don't want to be chopping and uh, talking about price chopping and all that sort of stuff. No one wants to do that. But that's the three different levels of awareness. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump inside. We're going to have a little bit of a venue shift here, and I'm going to dive into those three key different awareness levels and how you can apply them to your marketing funnels. Okay guys, now we're gonna dive into the three different key areas. So we have first of all, product aware, we have solution aware, and we have problem aware. Now let's start at the beginning with product aware. Now when we're looking at a people that are aware that they, uh, sorry, problem, solution, product. Problem first, solution, then product. So when we look at the problem, they know that they have a problem and they're just not quite sure what the solution is. So I'm gonna talk about two different examples. I'm gonna give you an example of our business, and then I'm gonna give you a health and fitness example. So a problem might be that the business is not growing as well as people want it to. That's the problem. They're not sure what the solutions are or the products are that are gonna solve that for them. Or I'm currently, I don't have enough energy when I get up in the morning. That's a problem. That's a problem for me right now. So what you need to start thinking about is for each of these at each level, you've got to start to identify, well, each of these is a different marketing funnel. So marketing funnel awareness, you need to be looking at each of these has to be a different funnel. Each of these has to be a different process to bring people in. So if you're looking at people that are problem aware, they're aware that they have a problem, but they're not sure what the solution is. So you need to be talking and diving deep into those pain points. Diving deep into, okay, you have no energy when you get up every day. This, 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 addressing all their problems and your solution is based on that. 
Same for if we're talking about oh, my business isn't growing. We might talk about business growth, business growth challenges, how they can start to grow better. These are the things that we want to start thinking about. These are the things that we want to start to address in our marketing funnels. So that's number one, we're talking to people who are problem aware. Now we move to the next stage, and as well, this can also be an ascension in part of your, as part of your funnel. You can start them at problem, they can ascend to solution, and then product as well. Now if we look at solution aware being our next port of call. Now let's have a think about this one. They're aware of the solutions, but they haven't chosen the product yet. What does that mean? Let's again look in the realm of business growth. Maybe they're looking at a business coach. Maybe they're looking at doing SEO. Maybe they're looking at systems and automation. Maybe they're looking at um, uh, Facebook ads. Maybe they're looking at marketing funnels to grow their business so their business can grow faster. There's a whole bunch of different solutions. They're not sure yet which one it is. Again, let's look at that for the health and wellness example. Maybe they're looking at doing CrossFit. Maybe they're looking at going and doing um, F45. Maybe they're looking at a nutrition coach. Maybe they're looking at just getting more water. Maybe they're looking at getting more sleep. They're weighing up all the different solutions. And so you need to start to articulate why your solution is better than any of those or help them choose the right solution for them. That's what you need to start to think about in your marketing funnel. So the first, you're addressing the problem. The second, you're going, well, they're weighing up all these different solutions in their minds. That's what you need to overcome. That's the new problem that you've got to help them overcome. Is going, how do you help them make a decision on a business coach, on a health and wellness product? Whatever it is that you're doing in your business, you need to help them overcome that and move to the next stage where they have a solution that they can action. And then very finally, it comes down to product where they're aware of the product that they want to use and they just want to choose the provider. So again, maybe they go, great, I want, it. I want someone who can help me drive traffic and is a marketing strategist. Um, I'm looking at Kim Barrett from Your Social Voice. I'm looking at Peter from Peter's Marketing. I'm looking at uh, Samantha from Samantha's Marketing. I'm looking at all these different people. And they're weighing up the different options that they have. They're looking at different providers of the same solution. Now if you look at the health and wellness, they said, okay, great, I want to go to um, the gym. I'm looking at my local gym. I'm looking at a next generation, an F45, a Jets at any time. I'm looking at all these different options as the gym that I'm going to choose. A lot of the time you find people here do really like to dive in and they'll fight on a, um, a price comparison point, a price comparison level. That's not really where I like to play. I like to play a little things a little bit differently. This is where you really need to go heavy on your testimonials, your case studies, the value that you've provided to the marketplace, the people that you've helped achieve massive goals. That's what we want here. That's what we really want to see happen. That's what we really want to dive into when we look at our um, our, faith, uh, our marketing, sorry, our marketing funnel awareness. Now, each of these, as I said, each of these could be a different funnel. You can have a problem aware, a solution aware, a product aware funnel, or you can send them through one in one marketing funnel. But you do have to choose one. You do have to choose one process that you're going to use to enable your clients to be able to come through, to, be able to spend money with you, to be able to help you get to that next level. That's really what this process is all about. That's really what this is um, doing and understanding is how can you do that? How can you allow it to go to the next level to, how can you allow them to ascend through your value ladder and really just provide them with massive value along the way. And if you do this, if you have this level of segmentation of your um, awareness levels, of the way in which you communicate with people, then really you're setting yourself up for great success when it comes to your marketing funnels. Now guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and you drop a comment and tell us if you want more of this, what you like the most, and of course, subscribe as well. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett, adios.